Hello, my name is Kathleen Li. I'm a database specialist solution architect at AWS. In this video, I'll introduce to you how to migrate data warehouse from Oracle to Amazon Redshift by using Schema Convention 2 and the Extract Agent. Let's first take a look solution architecture. Basically, you can install ICT Extractor Agent on any type of servers. Please make sure the server has connectivity to your Oracle data warehouse. The ICT client application will put data from the cell system through Extractor, upload the data to Amazon S3, and copy the data to Redshift. The Extractors provide a fully managed framework for your data warehouse migration. ICT Extractor writes the extracted files to the local storage using lossless LZO compression. The files are comprised, can reduce network transfer time and storage cost. Based on your use case, you can install multiple extractors on the same servers or separate them as needed across many servers. For the demo purpose, I already had ICT client installed on my Mac Pro and the one Redshift cluster is up and running. I will focus on to demo first step, install the ICT extractor. The second step, I'll show you how to configure the ICT extractor. The third step, I'll show you how to configure the ICT client. And finally, we'll do data migration. First of all, let's install Schema Conversion to Extractor Agent. Download the ICT from the AWS website to my local machine. In my demo environment, I'm using Red Hat Linux. So I will choose Fedora Linux download. I will have the download link included in the reference slides. To be able to install ICT Extractor Agent list version successfully, I need to have the GDK 11 to be installed. Please make changes accordingly based on your environment and version needs. I already downloaded the GDK 11. Now let's install it. Looks correct. Now let's install. I still use yarn. All right, it seemed installation successfully. The installation process creates the directory containing the extractor configuration file and executables. This is a directory created the CD to this directory. Now we can see we have the ICT extractor setup.sg file. But before we run this file, we need to download the Oracle GDBC driver and the Redshift GDBC driver. Now I already have Oracle GDBC driver and the Redshift GDBC driver downloaded. Please make sure you will get the appropriate version based on your environment requirements. Now let's run ICT extractor setup.sh. The first thing we need to provide the warehouse vendor, Oracle. I'll take a default, hit enter. Listening port, I'll take a default one, 8192, hit enter. Oracle GDBC driver file or files. So the path looks okay, but I need to give the my GDBC 
driver file is ogdc10.jar. Lose OK, enter. So next, we need to provide Redshift GDBC driver pass another file. Okay, working folder, I'll take uh, this as a default. And the enter agent name if you are recurring a file agent or press enter otherwise. For demo, I'll just uh, hit enter. Enable secret circuit layer communication. For demo, I'll choose the simple one or say no. But uh, in your production environment, please definitely enable secret circuit layer communication. Now I'll choose yes. All right. So AWS ICT data extractor was successfully configured. After completing the configuration, let's inspect the settings data properties file. As we can see, all the information exactly the same. Just now when we run ICT extractor setup .sh file, everything looks okay. Now let's start extractor agent daemon process. We can see extractor agent process is up and running. At this point, the configuration of the ICT extractor agent is complete. Next step, we need to establish connection with ICT schema convention 2 by registering the extractor. I launched schema conversion 2. My schema conversion tool already configured to be able to connect to my sales Oracle Data Warehouse and also target Amazon Redshift. Click View tab, choose Data Migration View. On the Agents panel, click Register button. Description, given name called Demo, and the host name provides the server where you have your ICT extractor agents installed. And the port number, I use 8192. Let's test the connection. All right, click the register button. Notice the, the status field in the middle panel shows whether the extractor is available or not. The green A indicates the extractor is running and the accepting commands. For demo purpose, let's do migrate a few tables under schema TPCD. I will choose all the tables related with customer. We need to create a local task first. Right click, choose create local task. Give the name. Notice the migration mode, we have the three migration modes. Extract only means this option writes the selected data to local storage on the extractor servers. The data files are comprised using L0 compression. Extract and upload. This option will upload the L0 compressed file to S3. The benefit to choose is the files stored in S3 also be able to query them by other database engines such as Azina. The third option is extract, upload, and copy. This option triggers the injection of the data into Amazon Redshift using the Amazon Redshift copy command. For this demo, I'll use the third option. Before click the quick button, let's test the task first. Task validation passed, click OK. 
then click create button then click start you can see this st2 shows the progress of each step of the migration now we can see we already finished extract and upload and copy is ongoing if you highlight on this subtask and you can see exactly task status so this status showing complete one great thing about extractors is that user parallel thread for extract upload and copy process SCT parallelize the extracts by table and partition. The degree of parallelism is determined by the number of the threads available on the extraction servers. You can have more than extraction servers or scale up to a more powerful server to increase the performance. To see detailed status for each task and subtask, we can check extractor logs in the private directory on the extractor server. From this log, you can see all the process regarding extract, upload, and the copy process. For instance, you can see here is a copy command running after upload the file to S3 and then a copy command that ingests the data to Redshift. In data warehouse environment, we can extract the data in parallel if table is physically partitioned in a source. AWS SCT migrates the table on the partition basis automatically using the Uni or View system option. If your table are not partitioned, you can create virtual partitions for your migrated data. There are three partition types, which work with the specific date types. The range partition tab works with numeric date and data types. The list partition type works with numeric, character, date, and time data types. The auto split partition type works with numeric, date, and time data types. AWS SCT validates the values you provide for creating a partition. For instance, if you attempt to partition a column with data type numeric, but you provide the values of the different data types, AWS SCT throws an arrow. Now let me give you example how to create the virtual partitions. Click virtual partition tab. I'll continue to use customer table. Right click. Now we'll choose add virtual partitioning. Notice that we have three partition tab: list, range, and auto split. For this demo, I'll use the auto split. I'll use customer birth year. I give the start value and end value. For interval, I'll put 10. Then I click OK. Click TBCD customer, verify the detail. Now you can see we have a partition start value 1970, end value 1991, interval 10, and we will have the following partitions. Looks OK. Right click, we'll do create local task. Again, we'll use extract, upload, and copy. Before we start a task, we test the task. Looks OK. Then create task. Start. Great. It seems the task has finished successfully. Let's take a quick look from log file. For this log file, you can see here, first range partition. See, first year grid equal 1970 and lesson equal 1980. I use the start value is 1970 and the put interval is 10. ICT extractor also constructed this query with this range partition. Now let's move to Redshift cluster to do a quick verification by query TPCD customer table. We got 266 
Southern Records is the same as the Oracle South. With that being said, I hope this video can provide you the idea and the basic steps how to use Schema Convention to extract your agent to move your on-premises data warehouse to Amazon Redshift. And here is a list of reference documents used for creating this video. Thank you for watching. Happy cloud computing from offers here at AWS.